Sometimes the DC boys are out in space, right? What is that on screen? No astronomer has seen this before. Scientists say they're clueless about what it might be. A meteor, a star, clearly a UFO, as in unidentified. Michio Kaku is a theoretical physics professor and host of the new Science Channel series, Sci-Fi Science, Physics of the Impossible. Tuesdays at 10 o'clock, renewed for a second season. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Uh, back on the screen, what is it? We don't know. We are stumped. Uh, scientists around the world are saying, what the heck is this object? It doesn't fit any of the profiles of the usual suspects. That's the problem. The usual suspects are comet, meteor, stars, stars galaxies, stars. planets. How about uh, some sort of alien dealio? You Could be. Into that? Well, you know, the object is about the size of the Rose Bowl, Rose Bowl Stadium. So it's too small to be a planet or a star or a galaxy. And it's not a comet. There's no gas in the tail of that comet. It's not a meteor, because it's not inside the Earth's atmosphere. Uh -huh. So what is it? We're scratching our head. The only thing we can think of at the present time is a once-in-a-lifetime event, the collision of two asteroids in space. We've never seen that before, creating a starburst, a starburst of debris. And if that theory is correct, it means with the weeks, the starfish should get bigger and bigger and eventually fade away. So the asteroid collision, it, it may have happened before. We just have not seen evidence of it. This is the first time it's been caught on camera, if it is an asteroid collision. And what would that mean to folks like you? You would study that to figure out what, Michio? Well, we realize that asteroids are predictable. We know exactly where they are going around the sun. But if they collide, it's a game changer. We think that may have wiped out the dinosaurs. There was a cosmic collision about 100 million years ago. Debris was sent all over the asteroid belt, and one piece, get this, one piece hit the Earth from that collision about 65 million years ago, and that's when the dinosaurs died in perhaps just one year. So we think that an asteroid collision, a big one, probably wiped out the dinosaurs. Wow, so that would be significant for people like you because what happened was I guess some folks saw this deep in space and they said, you need to check that out. So we took the Hubble telescope and mm -hmm. we pointed it in this direction and now we have these brilliant pictures. That's right. A month ago we spot this little speck doing all sorts of shenanigans that it shouldn't be doing. The Hubble Space Telescope zooms in on it and we, our jaws hit the floor. At it's, that it's point we were saying, thing. Uh, now, it's called the P-2010A2, and you say that's short for... We are clueless. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. So we have to learn a lot more about these asteroid collisions. Uh, that that's tells right. a lot about our future, right? That's right, and they're random. We don't know where they come from, and if the debris hits the Earth, they're unpredictable, and we think the dinosaurs got wiped out precisely in this way. Only if they had the Hubble. <laughs> come on. Uh, Tuesday night, 10 o'clock, check him out on the Science Channel. I'll meet you. Thank you very much. Right. Good to thank see you. you as always.